Hey everybody, welcome to Grim's Forge Gaming. This is going to be my very first Oaken Soul build. This is going to be called the Spartan, and if you hang out until after the build, after the CP and everything, I'll actually show a battleground so you can kind of see it in action. And I believe my only death in that battleground was when my ultimate didn't fire. I hit it five or six times and nothing happened. So anyways, um, let's jump right into this build. So this build does feature uh, two heavy, five medium, and fully buffed with continuous, we will get just about 8K spell damage, okay? Uh, we might be able to break 8K with outside buffs, but with continuous and uh, our two-piece Belors firing, we will hit 8K spell damage uh, with continuous. We can achieve almost 29K, actually we can achieve 29K pen on, on individuals, with this build. We are running sword and board, so we're running sword and board with 29k pen on people. And I've opted not to run an offensive ult here, so you could get more weapon and spell damage by putting Dawnbreaker Smiting there, and through the fighter guild passives, right, you would achieve more weapon and spell damage. But what I found was, with our major heroism from Oak and Soul, and the low cost of spell wall, I had a huge uptime on spell wall, which even further adds to our tankiness. And now anyone that's trying to range us down is reflecting everything back to them. And you can see how problematic there was a lot of um, uh, bow users in the battleground footage at the end. And you can see how problematic that the spell wall is. And a lot of people on Templars, when you're spamming your sweeps or jabs, um, they miss the fact that spell wall is running okay so um, I decided to go with this and just be ultra tanky and be able to just go ham on people okay so let's jump in and look at the build we already said that we are running oak and soul and I'm running swift on there um, we're coming from a, a meta or an era where uh, previous patches where Wild Hunt was my go-to hands down all the time and coming off of Wild Hunt and doing anything outside of Wild Hunt was just too big of a drop-off in speed for me and so I, I made this one swift. That said, I didn't want to come off too much um, too much spell damage so this was the only one that I went swift with. You can make this infused if you want completely up to you. Um, so we said Oak and Soul, we're running that, and we are running two-piece Belors. We're running a heavy armor Belors, and you can see that it's uh, still in training, and, or this one's in training, and I haven't used Transmutes to fix that yet, but I would probably want to run uh, Impen or Sturdy. I don't find myself blocking a whole lot on, on this, but uh, most likely impen and then we're running impen on this with the prismatic enchants on on that and it's a medium uh, my other heavy armor piece is going to be this armor of the trainee and I have this transmuted to reinforce so it's got a 3200 armor value to my chest piece and that that's pretty nice and we hit that one piece uh, 14 Hundred health, so that's great. Now the next set that we've paired this with is going to be uh, Titanborn, and you can see we're running spell damage. If you're on a Templar right now, do if you're running um, Living Dark, you want to be specced into spell damage. You don't want to be specced into weapon damage. Okay, spell damage you can achieve a much higher spell damage through uh, passives that you have. Okay. And so Titanborn, if you look at that, it's got 1,500 offensive penetration, some spell damage, and then some max stam. We need the max stam because the majority of our abilities are gap closers and whatnot, and break free, dodge roll, and blocking is stamina. And so we need that max stam on there. And then you can see we've got spell damage on our five piece and more pen. And then as we take damage, we get even more dangerous. And so the thing I found out was if you kind of wait until and this is <laughs> what got me killed in the battleground by the way but if you wait until your health gets really low and then you hit your ultimate um, and Titanborn's fully um, effective right in that moment you're ultra dangerous in that moment and you just need your ultimate to fire but Titanborn very dangerous and so um, that's been working out really well for me and it basically running Titanborn 
um, kind of took the place of running an offensive ultimate for me. I could have an offensive ultimate and drop an ultimate and hurt people and then try and finish them off, or I could just fight people and as fights progress outnumbered fights and I'm taking damage, I'm getting more and more um, dangerous myself, hit my sword and board ult and stop all, basically all incoming damage and just be ultra dangerous for the uh, duration of that ultimate. Um, we are running willpower and I did need some more max mag on this build and some more spell damage and we've got a three piece on that so what you'll see is the um, sword and shield. Now I might want to switch this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a willpower. I don't even need these but I have a willpower that's reinforced and that would probably take me to the 38,000 resistances and I might do that because we really don't find ourselves blocked on this a whole lot okay now um, it doesn't matter what your main hand weapon is when you're running sword and board it could be a dagger it could be a sword it could be a mace it really doesn't matter I would run sharpen on this it's kind of a theme for me you can see we're just sitting at 5k physical penetration and when we save up a 500 ultimate um, and we hit that it takes us up to 20k and then we're running pierce armor which is 9k um, on that so and actually I think the, um, if we do the math on this let's do the math on this real quick you're gonna do math with us because science right um, 23 times the amount for 12 seconds so 23 times 500 so it's 11,500 um, penetration plus the 5k that we have is going to give us 16.5 and then I hit someone plus the 9k with the pierce and that takes us to 25,000 penetration okay 25k pen on a target so that's pretty good um, you can see right now we have a hodgepodge of traits um, I would run the prismatic enchants are okay on this um, we're that will probably be fine. If you wanted to run max stam on it, you could as well, okay? Um, but anyways, don't get turned off by our magic recovery where that's at or our stamina recovery. When I pop a potion here, which we're running the tripod potions, and then we jump in and look at our character sheet, you can see that we're at uh, 1900 mag recovery, which is perfect for our puncturing sweeps. And then the stamina recovery is perfect for what we're trying to do. You can see that uh, there was only a couple times we ran into problems and we were uh, in with this type of sustain and the hybridization and how we're playing it. There were only a couple times we ran into issues and you just pop a sword and board alt, let your recoveries um, do their job and then you're back in the fight You know when they wear out. So you can see that our attributes here were at 39 max mag and 25 uh, max health. We needed to get our max mag up at least to the 22,000 and above because of uh, how quick we spam our uh, puncturing sweeps which we're going with the healing one right oaken soul gives us major berserk major prophecy or major sorcery sorry and so that allows us to run the healing jabs and the healing jabs are great um, we tried to get our max health as high as we could 33k um, to try and get out of that crazy burst window. Now, when we're hitting our sweeps and we've got major and minor protection, we're pretty darn beefy. And if they're going to try and hit us with a spectral bow or a relent uh, relentless focus or a snipe or some type of ranged anything, they have to be super careful. A, bol a bow ult, they're going to have to be super careful that they don't do it when my sword and board ult is up or they'll just kill themselves. And so that's been pretty funny. Um, our spell crit isn't too bad at about 24%, you know, um, so you're around that 25%. We do see a lot of crits while we're uh, spamming our sweeps. And like I said, that spell damage getting really high uh, pays dividends along with the pen. 27k and like we said we could probably get it to 28k um, 27 28k spelled uh, resistance and physical resistance on a five medium build feels really good plus we have that major and minor protection that can't be t taken away from us right somebody can full pen us with uh, a pen build or you know breach or whatever but they will never take those mitigations away from us right so that's pretty good only 1400 crit resistance um, I haven't been running into the super dangerous crit builds 
Um, but I'm sure we're going to run into some oak and soul night blades uh, eventually. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be making one, so hang out for that. But um, the food that we are using, let me scroll past all these freaking buffs. What the heck? Uh, <laughs> we're running the uh, boon, the Atronach, for more mag recovery. I can tell you that the sweet spot for just spamming sweeps or using that as your primary is 1800 mag, mag recovery. And um, so the 1900 puts us a little bit over that to where if I pace myself just a little bit, I can maintain that damage output with that no problem. So, uh, and we're running smoke bear haunch smoke bear haunch is going to give us the recoveries we need our max health and that's also why our max stamina our max uh, mag is on the low but our recoveries are where they need to be to be active on this and that's kind of the meta where we're at and you can listen to uh, podcasts um, you can listen to a lot of content creators and they'll tell you right now the current meta because damage is so high and oak and souls running rampant is to get your max health to 30 33k or above right um 35 to 40k would be better run lower max uh stats um for your damage and pools or whatever and damage and healing pools or wh wh however you want to look at it but run higher recoveries and that's kind of where we're at what do we need to do to get our max health high to deal with the amount of immense ceiling damage that's in the game right now okay um Okay, so that's everything right there. Um, let's talk about the abilities. We're gonna talk about the rhyme or reason, which we've already done a little bit. I don't want you to put the build together and then go out there and you're running a Dawnbreaker and you're getting absolutely freaking nuked and you're like, you said this was tanky. And it's like, well, you're not playing it tanky, right? You're still in five medium and damage is high in the game. If you wanna be tanky, have a defensive ultimate that has a high uptime right and so this is the tanky version right um running spell wall if you want to be the offensive version you probably aren't going to run sword and board you're going to run two-hander and you're going to run dawnbreaker or whatever okay um a couple things shield of the salt this is my gap closer and it's my hard stun i make sure that when i engage people in fights this is how i gap close to them which puts me in range to start sweeping them okay starting um, my offensive rotation i love it for that reason alone because sometimes it's hard to uh keep up with speed in the game and we're not built for speed so i need to stun them put them in front of me and then put some sweeps into them okay um the nice thing about sweeps is each strike reduces the movement speed of the closest enemy by 40 percent for one second this keeps them in front of me and forces them to have to fight me and so i really love that combo gap close to them stun them we're winning the fight through a resource battle because they need to break free and they're probably going to dodge roll and try and get out of the sweeps we're already gotten sweeps going into them okay sweeps are going to heal me for 41 percent of the damage and when our damage our spell damage is really freaking high um that's a lot of heals coming in you can see that in the battleground after i am running pierce armor because um that's 9k resistances stripped off the target and i have a nice little shield assault heavy attack pierce bash combo that if i'm completely out of magicka shield bash heavy attack pierce bash that's offense in itself and if you saw the amount of offense that it puts into a player it's it's enough to just do a heavy attack pierce bash heavy attack pierce bash heavy attack pierce bash now i have enough magicka to start spamming sweeps again okay um, our resolving vigor is 18k might be a little on the low um, I haven't really noticed it when I add the hot coming in for my resolving vigor that's a 18 19k coming in in four seconds and fairly low cost along with my living dark if I'm taking damage I'm getting heals coming in from this um, the heal coming from this the heal coming from this and the heal coming from this has seemed to be enough for me now if you're getting ranged down and you can't close the gap because we're not speed build and you need to add a burst heal then add honor the dead or breath of life okay throw that on there and you will be fine switch this out with it but for now these two and you can see in the video afterwards plus this has been enough to sustain me and i can tell you that with the immense uptime on spell wall and not taking damage having these up fills me okay keeps me 
up. Um, as a matter of fact, after that battleground, I had somebody that messaged me. Uh, they were very cool, and they just said, you know, hey, that thing is so freaking tanky. What I have to ask, what are you running? And so I just kind of went through everything and explained. I'm not going to try and, you know, uh, hide any builds or keep anything. When I find stuff, I'm going to release it to the world. So, um, And I have some really crazy stuff <laughs> coming out. So um, anyways, make sure Earth you have all your class passives okay um, and oh another thing too burning light don't forget about this damage output you deal 6100 magic damage uh, to your target okay uh, if you hit them with an ability four times that's very underrated considering a lot of people will be like well that's your only damage you know, I don't want to consider that damage and that's your gap closer I don't want to consider that damage that's your only damage well that's almost a 4k sweep by the way you know, but if you don't like just pushing one button, you know, and burt, burt, you know, like a, a machine gun firing into somebody, um, <laughs> don't forget about the burning light that's proccing from that too, okay? Um, and also, where is that? There you go. Spear wall. Gain minor protection for six seconds, reducing your damage uh, when in activating an Adric spear ability. So every time you hit sweeps for six seconds, you got minor protection going. And because of Oak and Soul, we have major protection going at all times. So major and minor protection. Woohoo. Um, but get all of your passives. And on Sword and Board, get all of these. And um, on your armor, get all your medium armor. Get all your heavy armor. And. Um, right now I have continuous. You can see that's an extra 10% spell damage on top of what I have. And I'm going to link a screenshot right here. This screenshot's going to show you that um, this is without continuous, but we're at 7k spell damage. Yeah, continuous plus a medium armor passives. There's your 8k. You throw on any outside uh, buff sources uh, outside of what we don't already have through Oak and Soul, and we break 8k uh, spell damage on this. It's pretty silly and we're sword and board okay and 25k pin um, well you can see in the photo that we're 20k pin and you add 9k pierce on top of that to the target so there's some type of scaling going on there that wasn't in our calculations earlier but anyways uh, pretty pretty crazy I am a Nord on this um, I really like the ult generation which plays into the oak and soul and getting the sword and board ult up quickly and I like the additional resistances so and as a side note why I like running this when somebody tries to hit me with a bow ult and I put this up and they don't realize that I have this up they literally kill themselves and I laugh super hard so Beasley I'm looking at you anyways um, <laughs> let's see here okay so we've looked at the build um, let's hover over everything real quick you can see my hodgepodge of stuff but we've got infused in pen and um, prismatic and in pen prismatic and in pen prismatic and reinforced or this is prismatic and training sorry uh, this is uh, prismatic and divines right here comes the hodgepodge uh, this is prismatic and sturdy look out and this is prismatic and reinforced and then we're running infused spell damage and then we're running healthy with spell damage um, and I think that healthy is probably needed right now with the it's not like I need an extra hundred spell damage right now that extra health the extra thousand health is probably better way to go and this extra seven percent spell Speed, seven percent speed is absolutely noticeable so but I guess if you want to infuse this infuse that there's an extra 200 maybe 300 spell damage there and now all of a sudden you break 6k you know like unbuffed on this guy so that's pretty silly so like I said also run sharpened on it if you don't want to run sharpened um, you could run nern honed and nern honed is gonna buff your spell damage by another 15% so it's possible this thing hits 9 10k spell damage i might try and do that just to see what it can do if people are interested in that but i'm yeah i might be able to actually hit fully buffed with continuous 9 to 10k spell damage on a sword and board oak and soul build huh super balanced okay so um I think I said the food that we're taking is Orzorga smoked bear haunch. Let's jump into the CP and show you what I have. Hopefully I've got this right. Um, okay, so I, I've 
got Steed's Blessing right here. That's an extra 20% movement speed. Then we've got Rationer. That's going to give me an extra 30 minutes on our food. And uh, so that takes my, like when I pop a Smoke Bear Haunch, it takes it to three hours. So there that is through the passives that um, Provisioner passives added to that. Okay. Gifted Rider for an extra 10% mount speed, and then Treasure Hunter to increase the quality of the chest. So this guy is my um, um, scrying and relic guy, mythic guy. He's going to hunt things down. Now, did I have the mythics I want? I could probably come off of this and put something else in there. Probably pick this back up, okay? So that way, um, but this is what we have. In the blue tree, uh, we have Untamed Aggression for 150 spell damage. Then we have Wrathful Strikes for 205 spell damage. And then we have Mastered Arms for 6% additional direct damage. Um, and keep in mind, your Puncturing Sweeps is, is listed or um, it falls under direct damage and also area of effect damage. So you could double buff it if you went into both those but we did direct damage and um, single target damage okay so our pierce and our shield assault hit harder and our um, sweeps hit well as hit hard also Jeez. okay and we're running ironclad reduce the damage taken by direct damage attacks by six percent a lot of the biggest hardest hitting abilities in the game are going to be direct damage so this is going to cut six percent off of them when you're in cp scenarios also don't sleep on this purple tree right here if you come into here there's some extra um spell damage hidden on uh, weapon and spell damage hidden on each side and we actually do both of these we do you can see grants a hundred uh spell damage when you do magic attacks that's great because our sweeps are that and this adds a hundred weapon damage when we're doing martial attacks that's great because um, our shield assault and our pierce are that so don't sleep on those and then the chance to apply status effect is important as well so um, and then when we come into here don't forget these it gives you a little bit of extra mitigations and there's our ironclad okay let's jump over here I almost always run this setup at least until someone um, finds something better Rejuvenation, that's an extra 90 magic uh, health and stamina recovery, and that's nice. And we're running an extra 1731 armor, that's nice and needed. We're running an extra 1400 max health, that is absolutely needed. And we're running Celerity, and Celerity is going to give us an extra 10% movement speed, which was absolutely needed when we dropped the... Um, wild hunt okay now another thing not to sleep on make sure you get this that's an extra 560 max health and then jump into here and uh, reduce the duration of em elemental status effects by 25 percent that's important because we're not running a cleanse on this which isn't too bad right now a plague bl plague break running rampant can't talk today thanks um so other than that get the um pass or get the uh passive slots nodes that make sense for your build are placed out here i just did 1800 plus cp i'm able to get everything i need and and some and it you know we don't even really need um anything above that so that's the cp now um i'm gonna run to the crafting table here real quick because this is a new portion to my build videos as if they're not long enough already but a lot of people always ask me what is that helm what is that shield what is that sh shoulders what is that sword and um so Let's see if we can jump in here and this is going to say, yep. So this is an order of the hour helm that makes you look like a Templar. This is Daggerfall pauldrons. My gloves are second legion. My legs are legion zero legs, right? I like that wrap that kind of looks like um, a Spartan, right? The chest piece is the minotaur jerkin. Um, and so a lot of people are like, dude, where do you get that gladiator uh, body piece that's awesome okay and these look different obviously for light medium and heavy so there might be something there for you I'm running the glass um, belt which you can't even see under this ginormous um, WWE wrestling belt and then the second legion uh feet there and those look kind of spartan-esque I guess I don't know and we're running the symphony of blades 
um, sword and board on this. So we're going to start adding this little piece on the tail end of everything. Uh, Battlegrounds coming to you. Hopefully you enjoy this. Have fun. Be safe out there. Bye.
this is where they die!